Hi, my name is Beth Massey, and today I'm going to show you how to create a search screen in Visual Studio LightSwitch. LightSwitch is a new development tool for building business applications for the desktop and the cloud. LightSwitch makes it easy to create data-centric, rich, internet Silverlight applications. This lesson picks up where we left off in the first video. If you're following along, you saw how we can define and model our data using the Entity Designer. We've defined data for a simple order management system that has products, customers, and their order and order details. Next, we want to create a search screen to search for our customers. So let's see how we can quickly do that using LightSwitch. So there's a couple ways that you can add a screen to your project. You can either right click on the screens node here in the Solution Explorer and select Add Screen, or if you're in the Entity Designer, you'll see the screen button here at the top. Next, you just select a screen template. Out of the box, you have five screen templates, and you can download more from the community. To create a search screen, you just select the Search Data screen, and then for the screen data, we're going to use the customers. Okay, click OK. Now this opens up the screen designer. And the screen designer is a hierarchical view of all the controls on the screen and what data it is bound to. So let's just hit F5 or click the play button to start debugging. And let's see what happens. Let's see what we get. Now here you'll notice that we have an entire application shell that's generated for us with a ribbon here across the top with um, controls with buttons, a navigation pane to navigate through all of our screens on the, here on the left, and a tabbed main window interface inside the center. Okay, so now since all I did so far is define my entities, I don't have any data inside the database yet. So this search screen isn't going to be very useful, right? <laughs> So, however, we can easily allow adding of customer records right from this search screen here, or we could add a new data screen. So first, let's go ahead and just quickly enter a couple rows right directly into this screen to just see how the search screen works. Okay, so I'm going to just click the Design Screen button here up at the top uh, right-hand corner. And this is available to us developers when designing screens so that we don't have to keep stopping the debugger just to tweak something on the layout. So you'll still see the hierarchical view on the left hand side, but now you can also see the running preview on the right. So let's go ahead and add an add button to the data grids command bar that will allow us to open a simple add screen that LightSwitch can create for us. So I'll just select the command bar underneath the data grid and I'm going to add an add and edit new button. So the add and edit new button will add a row inside of the grid as well as open up a screen that allows us to type in the fields. If we just select Add New, then it will just put a new row inside of the grid in the search screen. Okay, so let's add and edit new. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and say Save. And now you'll notice there's a little button here that adds this item to the grid, as well as Light Switch, looking at our customer entity, has generated this screen for us. So let's go ahead and quickly add in a couple couple pieces of data. So let's add me in here. Now notice we got the um, immediate formatting and we also have this, this uh, special control that allows us to um, enter data into the phone number field. And this is because in the previous video we specified the phone property on our customer entity to be of the business type phone number. Okay, so email address. Let's go ahead and enter an address here. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and add a, another one. Okay, and we all live in Redmond. 
Okay, so I'm just going to save these back to the database. And now let's go ahead and play with our search screen a little bit now that we have some data in it. You'll notice that you get this search right up here in the corner. And if I say type maybe west and hit enter, you notice that only Joe comes up because it searches across all the string fields inside of the uh, inside the table. And I and Joe lives on 23 West 124th Street. Okay, so that's pretty cool. So we didn't have to specify anything different or anything out of the ordinary to get advanced searching across all of the fields in the database, in the table. Okay, so the other thing we get is if you'll notice that there is this export to Excel. So we can click on this and anything that's shown in the grid while the search is applied is exported to Excel. So that's pretty nice as well. So you can create reports this way. Okay, the other way that we can add data into the database is by creating a new data screen. So let's go ahead and do that. And it might be more intuitive because that will show up here on the navigation pane. So quickly, let's add a screen this way. Right click on the screens node, add a screen, select new data screen, and new data and create new customer. Now this allows us to select whether or not we want to display on the new customer screen just the customer details or include the order headers too. So let's let's just do the customer details for this this one and I'll show you in a next in another video how do we can create a master detail screen. It's actually pretty easy. Okay, so I'm going to hit F5 again or press that play button up at the top. And now you'll notice we have this create new customer here now. Okay, so now when we click on that, we get a create new customer tab screen here in the main window. Okay, so instead of going through the search screen, you could create a new customer screen here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and add one more person. Uh, actually, yeah. We all have the same phone number and we all live in Redmond. <laughs> okay, so now when we save our customer here, you'll notice that you immediately get an edit screen. So I saved and then we can edit and the edit screen is opened up again. Now I didn't specify this at all. Light switch automatically generated this for us. As well as if we go back to customers and we refresh the customer list here, you'll see Jay inside the list. Now, one other thing that's kind of interesting is you have these links here on our names. If we go ahead and click on one of them, it will also, Light Switch will also generate this edit screen so we can make any changes that we want, okay? So that's pretty nice. All right, cool. So in the next video, I'll show you how you, we can create our own edit screen, okay? Instead of Light Switch generating it for us, we can control exactly what we want to put when, when we click links or when we, uh, after we save new records, what should come up. Okay, so thanks for watching.